Hi everyone, welcome. We're down here in my wormery, and if you're a regular on my channel, you may have already seen a video that I posted yesterday. In that video yesterday, we had checked in on that bin on the upper right hand corner, the one on the top shelf on the right with the label on it. The reason we were checking in on that bin was because at some point not too long ago, we had decided it was time to stop feeding that bin, give the worms a chance to finish whatever remains were in the bin, and our main reason for checking in was to see whether or not we had more or less come to the conclusion of the feeding phase of that bin. So even though we had not fed that bin um, in 20 days, we were checking in to see how the remaining food that, um, that was still in the bin was coming along in terms of being depleted. And at that time we found some scraps in that bin and we had reloaded the remaining scraps that we located, put them back into a central spot and we just let that bin continue on. And um, that bin was a, um, was a bin that we had originally populated with 1,500 worms. And yesterday it was 120 days old when we had done that. And it had so far at that point um, gone 20 days without any feedings. So now another bin of mine, the one that's down here in the center, in the middle of the shelf on the bottom, um, is also in that same stage where um, not too long ago we had decided it was um, pretty much out of space, no more room to keep adding food. So we decided it was also going to go through a starving um, phase, which in my mind is still part of the feeding phase, the first phase, just giving them time to finish whatever had been given to them. Um, and now we've been checking in to see how far along that phase of the process is. And in the case of that bin, you'll notice here, um, that bin was populated with far greater number of worms. So if the, if the bin that we checked in on yesterday had about 1,500 worms, this bin that we're going to look at now has at least twice as many worms in it, or at least... That's my best estimate. And even though that other bin that we worked on yesterday had aged 120 days to get to that point, this bin is only half that age. It's only 60 days of age. And it was um, 18 days ago when the bin was 42 days of age that we had given it its last feeding. We did check in one time. It was uh, after 10 days had elapsed since that last feeding to see how things were going. And at that point we pulled out a whole bunch of um, large pieces of food that would um, probably take much longer to get broken down than we expect this bin to continue um, lasting. So that means for the past eight days they've been um, whittling down whatever remaining bedding scraps, food scraps might still be in the bin. But with this many worms I've got a feeling that what was in there might have um, already been for the most part depleted. So I'm going to be checking in to see if this uh, bin might actually be at the end of what I consider the feeding stage and to see if we're maybe ready to start um, gearing this bin up for the next stage, which in my mind is the depopulation stage, um, trying to migrate the worms out of the finished compost so that the finished compost can be harvested. So we're going to bring this um, bin up onto the bench. So uh, let's see how we're coming along in there. So we've been allowing the moisture to continue recirculating over the entire surface of the bin. And I like doing it that way because that just encourages the worms to just go anywhere they please. Anywhere on the surface, the top surface being all nice and damp from the recirculating moisture that the plastic causes. We've got nice cozy accommodations all the way out to the edge. Doesn't matter where you go, you're going to find some nice damp castings to hang out in. So here's one that's pretty far out on the edge to the corner, out there, out here I saw one too. So pretty much giving them free reign of the entire contents of the bin, even places where, at least in my bins, traditionally it had been kind of a drier place. And um, I guess up until about eight days ago, when we were in here last to remove all those large, slow composting food items, there had always been a, a feeding zone. And um, I guess for the past week or so, there's been no official feeding zone anymore since all the larger food items had been removed. So I guess obviously there's certain stuff right, right along the top. We always see little bits of leaves and tiny fragments of things, bedding, whatnot. So I'm gonna try to see if I can collect that a little bit. I'm not gonna be giving them any food, but if there's still stuff like this, which is sort of like a food item or whatever remains that's edible in the bin, if this is all that's left, then um. Maybe we can come up with something creative with it. 
So here we've got, you know, it's a fair amount of castings mixed in with it, but it's a big pile of leaves and stems and stuff like that. Here we've even got something that started growing here within the bin. So I'm just wondering what happens if we start poking around. If we go down, there's just worms everywhere. I do feel little sticks and stems. Not much to it, though. You touch it and it just breaks into little fragments. Here's a slightly larger one. Again, breaking quite readily in my hands. And I do like to use all those little sticks as a gauge as to how close I'm getting to the finish line. I bet you this was a banana peel stem, or what's re remaining of it. Because, yeah, I mean, these little um, sticks and stems of the leaves, once they go, there's not much left, usually. Those are the last little things that take longest to break down, usually. I mean, once in a while, you've got little scraps of paper and bedding and whatnot, so... You know, if this thing were to run through a, a sifter, then, you know, large fragments of leaf like this that have just not been broken down yet would obviously get caught. Um, but everything else looks like it would easily pass right through. It's all um, very loose, doesn't clump up whatsoever, just breaks away readily. It feels totally damp everywhere, but none of it is clumping. I'm even going down a little bit deeper here, but all of it just pushes right out of my way very easily. I think the only thing that's really creating any sort of resistance is just the, the massive presence of worms everywhere. <laughs> that's really what's holding my fingers back as I try to comb through the material is just worms everywhere. Oh, what do we have here? This also looks like another kind of large, not yet fully broken down thing. Well, again, it looks like the stem of a a banana peel. Anything we find, we're just going to classify it as the stem of a banana peel. How does that sound? <laughs> Here too, quite, quite clearly, a piece of the um, egg carton cardboard. So there's certainly a, a fair amount of stuff in here. This is a pretty good sized little stick. So there is still a fair, a fair amount of stuff scattered throughout this material, whether it's bedding or sticks or pretty good sized leaves that are still intact, not fully eaten yet. So I've got a feeling we're um, definitely going in the right direction. Things do look really terrific throughout this bin. The material is just perfect. Here's another banana peel stem. <laughs> this one's pretty heavy, heavily occupied, though, with uh, some worms that have squirmed their way down into it, eating it from the inside out. So I'm guessing a few more weeks for sure. Although I just want to be careful, you know, because there are so many worms in here. So even though it might seem like there's a fair amount of stuff in here, it could just be uh, deceiving. I wouldn't want to come in here and find that it has completely been depleted. I'd like to sort of time out the next step to be in sync with them, you know, finishing off whatever's in here, but then me being able to turn them over to the next food source once we get ready to start actively migrating them out of the compost. So this is pretty pretty cool just to have so many worms in any given spot throughout the material. It doesn't really seem to matter where you go. And even down here, it's just all the way at the bottom, the stuff just falls apart. And it's damp, you know, it's not not wet, it's um not clumpy. Just perfect moisture somehow. Try to restore all this stuff over here to my left. So I think we've pretty much rummaged around this side <laughs> enough. Give these guys a little break, let them get back to work. But yeah, I mean, you can see there's just worms throughout this material. Every inch of it is just mobbed with tons and tons of worms everywhere. So whatever remains in this bin, I doubt is going to last very much longer. Some of these things are somewhat larger in, in size, but they're, you know, they're thick pieces of cardboard. Don't know what to expect, you know, maybe a, a quick screen of this material would help me quickly separate all those sorts of things, but anything else that's edible I would think is going to get um, gobbled right up. Maybe in the next week, week and a half, I don't know. I should check in at least in the next eight to ten days, I think. Definitely like what I'm seeing here. 
And I don't want to excessively prolong the video. I don't think we're going to see much of anything different than what, we, what we've seen already, but I just can't seem to resist. I want to poke around down here on this other side as well. <laughs> just because I'm curious. I don't expect to see anything that requires my attention or requires any fixing. Everything does look pretty awesome. Very few larger chunks of things here and there. Whether they're leaves or stems. Here and there I do find one or two such items, but certainly not many. I bet you if we were to go rummaging through this material for cocoons, we'd probably find a ton of them. We could take up a whole hour's program doing just that, I think. <laughs> Picking out the cocoons and stacking them up to see how many you fished out. But you know the material everywhere, everywhere I've checked so far, you know, on this entire side is just the same as on the other side. It's just perfect, awesome stuff. Let me give it another week. Somewhere between another week to 10 days. See how it fits in. We'll come back in here, see how they're doing on all of these leaf stems, leaf sticks. Like I said, every time I touch one, in most cases, it just crumbles in my finger. Um, I don't think they're going to last much longer. I mean, they're all very clearly visible. They're all over the place. A, a thicker one like this might be needing a little bit more time, but even that one just breaks apart effortlessly in my fingers. So maybe, um, maybe they're further along than I think. Maybe they still kind of look like they've got some structure, but maybe they're just um, on the brink of being eaten as well. So there isn't much other choice. There isn't much more. They're going to have to go for that stuff, you know, because everything else just seems to be castings you know there are you know bedding items too but those things somehow to me um bedding items just somehow seem to take longer for some reason well i wouldn't want to deny them this stuff there's just not that much of it that it wouldn't seem to make a lot of sense to just extract that stuff you know we'll just concentrate in the middle let them have a little party it'll be gone in no time <laughs> Then they can continue to turn their attentions to the rest of the material in the bin, what remains. So I think we're going to have ourselves a really nice batch of compost here within the next few weeks. I don't think it's going to take much longer. So let's get this thing covered up and back to work. So hopefully you enjoyed this check-in. I was um, just wondering, you know, how many other people out there do a similar um, sort of sequence of events? You know, do you feed, 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 and then do you sort of prepare for the next phase by starving them. I've heard a lot of people reference starving their bins, so I'm pretty sure it's a pretty common practice. And then migration, you know, the, the option of how we're going to migrate these presents itself, but I've more recently been gravitating towards the approach that just lets the worms do all the work, you know. Um, clearing out a section of the bin, freshly load it, and then the worms will just on their own gravitate towards that, uh, that fresh space. Um, in search of fresh food and fresh places to be. So, that's where we stand with this 60-day-old bin. Amazing, I can't believe it's only 60 days. <laughs> I believe my record right now is 75 days, and that's from my very, very first couple bins when I was really anxious to be done. I just couldn't wait any longer, so I harvested a bin at day 75. Doesn't mean it was necessarily needing to be harvested, but I wanted to harvest <laughs> I can, even, I can leave a link for that uh, video up in the corner. Um, but that goes all the way back. It's one of my first few videos. Very, very early stuff. So um, that's it for today. We'll be back in here, I think, in the next week or so. See how things are progressing. I got a feeling they're going to do great. Things, things are staged for a really nice wind down on this bin. So I think the next time we come in here, we'll probably want to be prepared to set up a fresh feeding zone so we can initiate a horizontal migration of the worms. So, hopefully we'll see you back here then, if not sooner. Um, so before I shove off, let me just quickly say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your company. I look forward to reading your comments. And if you enjoyed the video, and I sure hope you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. Um, it helps a lot, and I really do appreciate it. So, uh, also consider becoming a subscriber to the channel as well. That's a good idea too. Thanks a lot for watching, everyone. Have a great day. Bye now.